All right, guys. I'm on the bank of the Mud River right here. Getting ready to set up another catfish line. Yesterday I set up, had two set up. Time I got back, both the limbs were pulled into the river, back and forth, back and forth. I knew something was on them. One of them had a massive uh, snapping turtle on it, and it was way too big to pull up over the bank. It would have snapped the line. So I did have this in my truck, so I came to get it, this net. As you see, it's probably 16 inches across. Well, that couldn't even slide over the turtle. It was way too big, way too heavy for this. This really I got for trout. But, uh, so anyway, that did eventually break loose. But on the other line, I checked it and I had a soft shell turtle. Uh, I caught it, got the hook out of his mouth and released him. So today I'm using this uh, Mr. Catfish. It's 25 pound mono. I just put a sinker on it. And uh, I like these circle hooks, these uh, laser sharp. They pretty much set themselves when you're not here. Although this is the worm laser sharp. Um, but I'm gonna try it. Very hot day. As some of you know, we're in July. And uh, the United States this week has had its two hottest days in record heat. So, so we're going to try to set these. Come back this evening or tonight. Okay, got that laser sharp on it. You can see that right there. All right. Now, bait that I used, I brought two different things and I caught them on both yesterday. One was I had a piece of this homemade bacon. Uh, it stays on the line real well. And then I put chicken blood, catfish bait, uh, on it as well, but uh, that tends to slip off while this pork bacon stays on pretty good. It's got layers of meat and fat. So put that on there and on one of them. I'm gonna put a slice of hot dog. Nice and quiet out here today. Got no nobody out here. The other day I came out, I could see a big old fish. Right there, I couldn't tell what it was. All right. Let's take these with this Mr. Catfish. We'll see if we got any river otters. Looks like I can see a turtle right there on that branch. Now you know why they call it the Mud River. We haven't had much rain. So I don't want to get this thing in the poison ivy.
so I'm gonna cut off probably 50 feet or so I can hear the frogs over there all right Might have to come out here at night with my frog gigger. See if I can't get something. It's worth eating. Well, if you can hear them. So the time with those flim right here. I know later in the summer, for the fall, I'll be coming back here for some elderberries. Right over there hanging all the red over, you can see those plants. There's quite a bit more in behind it. I don't see much of that anymore. But I love elderberry jelly. Mm. All right, guys. You see that's a little mangled up, but it's still tied to that limb hanging out of the water. I still got my sinker on it. So I'm going to toss this one out here. And then we're going to come back later. Now, I got pork on this again. But let me put one of these. Now this looks like chihuahua turd, but it's that, it's that catfish chicken blood bait. And that is some nasty stuff. So I'm trying to form it on there without getting too much on there. Sling it out there. Let's hope the catfish gets to it before Old Man Turtle does. Oh! Alright. Oh. Welcome back this evening, guys. Isn't it? They went around that. Let's see if we can get this. This guy is not happy. What kind is it? Maybe a soft shell one. Soft shell? Hey, does that make them better to eat? Huh? 
hopefully. What's he doing, a death roll? Whoa. Yeah, he's just trying to get me tangled up. You know what I mean? Yeah. First, help me up. That old? Okay. Turtle meat. Y'all ready to eat this? Mm-hmm. Oh, he said, yeah. I heard that, did you? Travis, hold that. Right there, got my knife. I don't want a knife, I just want to get this untangled. It's got Look at that. I hear people there all the time. Right. How much do you think that turtle weighs? 20 pounds. Anybody wants to eat that, let me know. All right, you can turn off.